people are doing well in your life so we are again here uh, with few exciting words so that you people can uh, crack up your exam in a shorter duration of the time so welcome everyone whosoever is there with us on the chat so welcome guys welcome to the vocabulary show so let's check out that the, the today's article that we have chosen for you people it's about the autonomy of another roy right right so this is the topic which we have chosen for you people because it is something related uh, to the word roy and i want you people to give me the meaning of the word autonomy uh, as we can check out the first word that we have chosen for you people is autonomy so can we can we have the next slide please in order to check the pronunciation of this word so the first word is autonomy for you people on the screen jo bhi hamare sath <clears throat> अभी जुड़ते जा रहे हैं आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन द शो वेलकम मलिक हाई गुड इवनिंग वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू धनंजय इज देर विद अस प्रीति सूरज सो वेलकम यू ऑल Ashwin, of course, this is a live show, so you can also put up any of your query if you have any. So we are here to help you people, assist you people uh, with your English uh, English subject because English is a big uh, task these days for everyone, and they find it very difficult to go through the questions, whatever the count is there for the questions. So I I am here to tell you people, guide you people for English and vocabulary as it is going to build up the base for every type of the question. So uh, here we are. will be teaching you the vocabulary every day we uh, prefer to give you the 10 vocabulary words which are going to help you a lot in cracking up your exam in a shorter duration of time right so let's check out the word which is there for you people on the screen first word of the day that is autonomy uh, so i want you people to please give me the meaning synonym and autonomy for this word and autonomy Uh, as i insistingly keep on telling you people that the pronunciation of the words is also very important this is the reason why we used to give the pronunciation as well so keep on pronouncing this word twice or thrice so that you people can easily uh, check out or make the usage of this word with a correct pronunciation because sometime it happened that you people may know the meaning of this uh, word but still you people fail to pronounce this word and jab tak aap log acche se isko pronounce nahi karenge ya isko galat pronounce karenge to wo ek galat meaning jayega ek sentence ka acha meaning nahi ban payega right so i want you people to please go through this word try to speak out this word twice or thrice so that you people can so that you people can uh, learn the pronunciation as well and in the interview session or once you join up the services over there you people can make the usage of these words right uh, i want my technical team to please check out the, many of the students are facing the sound problem so please go through that okay so let's check out the meaning of this word with the uh, with the next slide let's check out the meaning Okay, so let's check out uh, the meaning of this word. This is this word. Anatomy is basically a noun in nature, and its meaning is the science dealing with the structure of living beings. So, जहाँ पे चीजों के ऊपर हम लोग एक उसका एक डिटेल की डिटेल स्टडीज पे जाते हैं, डेप स्टडीज पे जाते हैं, उसका सारा हम लोग उसका लाइक वी कैन से कि उसका डीएनए चेक करते हैं उसकी नॉर्मन क्लेचर पर जाते हैं हम लोग जो भी लिविंग थिंग्स हैं उनके एग्जिस्टेंस की बात करें तो हाउ हाउ व्हाट व्हाई वेयर व्हेन जो भी चीजें उसके साथ एसोसिएट होती हैं व्हेन वी यूज टू गो इन टू द डिटेल्स ऑफ एनी लिविंग बींग देन वी यूज टू मेक द यूसेज ऑफ दिस वर्ड दैट इज एनाटॉमी Okay, so let's check out uh, its synonyms. The synonyms in the queue for you people are: it is about examine, genetic, histology, investigation, analysis, inquiry. So, जो भी चीजें हैं कि ऊपर हम लोग investigation करते, examination के अंदर उनको observe करते हैं चीजों को detail में जाना, उसकी depth में study करना. तो वहाँ पे हम लोग इन चीजों को correctly uh, signify कर सकते हैं that these words are forming a group of synonym for this uh, group of synonyms for this word anatomy right okay uh, now the students are okay with the sound because sound is coming good now so 
uh, let's check out the autonyms which are there for you people on the screen. Its autonyms are ignorance, neglect, easy going to jahan pe hum log cheezon ko ignore karte hain, hum log uski deep studies mein nahi jate hain, hum log usse accept karte hain in the same way, uh, in the way it is coming to us. So there we used to form a group of autonyms for this word anatomy. So let's check out the example which is there for you people on the screen. It is in our anatomy class, we learned about the shapes and size of organs in a human body, right? So this is the uh, sentence ki jaha pe unka anatomy ka class tha. We can uh, say that biology ka class tha, to waha pe unhone bahut achche se shape size of organs ke baare mein study kara hai for the uh, in a human body. So waha pe hum log isko pre, uh, perfectly use kar sakte hai is word ko anatomy. Jaha uh, pe uh, hum log kisi bhi cheez ki detail mein jate hain depth study mein jate hain whatever is your profession you guys are into wherever feel to waha pe jab hum log apne profession ke relation mein ya phir kisi bhi cheez ki detail studies mein jana ho jab bhi waha pe hum log exactly perfectly is word ke use kar sakte hain anatomy so let's check out the uh, sentences which are given by your peer mates so uh, java ji hame bata rahe hain the conception of evolution is being applied more rigidly to a comparative anatomy of organs and system of organs. That's perfect, Java. Uh, let's talk about the Malik sentence. He's writing that uh, to find out the real criminal, the police has to study its anatomy. Uh, Malik, it should be its anatomy. So that's really perfect one. Case ki anatomy ki baat ho rahi hai, it's it aega. Agar aap hum log baat kar rahe hai, crim, cri, criminal person who is uh, like doing some sort of crime, to waha pe his uh, anatomy is perfect one. Scientists use anatomy in study of human life. That's again perfect, dear. Jyoti Bala ji ne, Mohammed ji ne hume ye sentence diya hai. MBBS is deeply anatomy about our human body. That's again perfect. So let's check out uh, the next word with the next line. Can we have the next word? Okay, the next news line, which is there for you people on the screen, it is about every roid today produces a set of staged narratives which are airy er to watch and strange to listen to. So the word that is good, that might be uh, getting you taking you people into the trouble is R E. So you people are required to give me the meaning, synonym, and autonym of this word R E, right? Malik ji bata rahe hai. today we have learnt a lot about ancestors through anatomy. That's perfect, Malik. So let's check out the meaning of this word, Ari. With the next slide, can we have uh, the meaning of this word? This word is basically a verb in nature and its meaning is uh, having something strange, weird, fear inspiring to jin cheezon se hame uh, dar lagta ho jo cheezon ko hum log easily accept nahi karte hain jo cheez bahut weird appearance mein hoti hain jisko dekhne se hi like we used to get a different feeling by heart the things which are strange jab hum log kisi ko uh, kisi beggar ki baat kare to jo bahut pathetic condition mein hota hai he is struggling for food and shelter and everything to wahan pe bhi perfectly hum is word ka usage kar sakte hain that is ari let's check out the uh, synonyms of this word to jahan pe ek creepy situation aata hai ghostly superstitious uncanny aata hai to wahan pe hum log perfectly in words ko use up kar sakte hain jahan pe ghostly ghost jaisi uh, feelings aati hain kuch bhi hum log horror serials ki baat kare horror movies ki baat kare to wahan pe perfectly is word ko hum log associate kar sakte hain it's about trouble that's perfect dear strange is also correct one autonyms ki baat kare to jahan pe cheeze usual regular normal common hoti hain familiar way mein chalti hain jahan pe cheeze ordinary way mein chalti hain to of course jahan pe hame dikkat nahi rehta hai kuch bhi different hame dekhne ko nahi milta hai uncanny ki baat nahi hoti hai jahan pe smooth going cheeze hoti hain superstitious vehem bharam nahi hota hai jahan pe to wahan pe wo sare words jo associate honge wo autonym banenge for this word array Let's check out the example which is there for you people on the screen. An airy feeling came over us as we watched a scary movie. So of course, जब हम लोग एक scary movie देखते हैं, तब कई बार उस movie देखने के बाद हम लोग कई बार comfortable night sleeps नहीं ले पाते हैं. So there, perfectly, they have used this word airy. तो हम भी ऐसे ही बहुत सारे sentences बना सकते हैं. 
Himanshu has passed one sentence to us in the comment section. It is, I found the silence underwater really airy. So, of course, jab underwater jate hain, to jab bohot uh, silent surroundings hoti hain, to of course, thoda sa different feeling aata hai, ek airy jaisa feeling aata hai, daravna feeling aata hai. Uh, let's, uh, let's check out the statement which is there uh, on the comment section given by the Java program. It is, uh, they are something, they they are something much more airy and ethereal, a coming together of cosmic forces and imagination that leaves the work a day world behind. That's perfect, dear. Some people have created a kind of fear regarding Padmavat movie, even it was very airy to watch that movie. Okay, that's perfect, dear. So, use a lot of drinking alcohol is airy for lungs. That's again perfect. Let's start listening some error stories. Okay, that's perfect, guys. You people are making good usage of this word. So let's uh, wind up this word and let's move to the next word with the next news line. Okay, so we have the next news line on the screen. It is, it was probably the most ironic tribute to a great soldier, right? So the word that we have from this news line is ironic. So you people are going to give me the meaning, synonym and autonym for this word, ironic, right? Uh, this word is quite similar, sim not similar, this uh, is originated from the word irony. So you people can also give me the meaning of that word that is irony. You people are making the good usage of the sentences and from the sentences only we can drive this out that you people are learning good from the sessions. Okay, so let's check out uh, the meaning of this word with the next slide. Okay, you people can check out on the screens that this is basically adjective in nature and its meaning is a form of humor in which, uh, in which you use words to express opposite of what the words really mean. तो जहां पे हम लोग किसी के ऊपर कुछ uh, किसी को हम लोग ताना देते हैं या किसी से हम लोग कहना कुछ होता है लेकिन उसका ऑपोजिट कहने पे हम लोग उस चीज को बिलीव करते हैं उस चीज को ऑपोजिट कहने में देन वी परफेक्टली वी यूज दिस वर्ड दैट इज आयरनी और आयरोनिक सो लाइक इन द सिचुएशन जहां पे हम लोग uh, कई बार होता है मदर यूजली सिचुएशन घर पे रहता है कि आप लोग लेट उठते हो तो लेट उठने पे मदर बोलती हैं कि आज आप लोग बहुत जल्दी उठ गए तो वो वो सिचुएशन क्या होता है कि जहां पे ऑपोजिट चीज की बात होती है सो व्हाट इज हैपनिंग ओवर देयर आयरन इज हैपनिंग ओवर देयर और वी कैन से दैट आयरोनिक सिचुएशन इज टेकिंग प्लेस एट दैट टाइम राइट व्यंग पूर्वक दैट्स परफेक्ट अवतार सिंह ऑफ कोर्स दिस इज द करेक्ट <coughs> meaning of this word so let's check out the synonyms which are there for you people on the screen it is about alert clever bitter ridiculous and uh, wordless cue so the, these words are these words which are uh, like in the opposite direction like if someone is cleverly comment commenting on you people or alerting you people for something that uh, uh, like sometime, I'm, uh, as I've told, given you the example, when mothers used to wake up uh, you guys in the morning, so they used to talk something opposite when the things are ridiculous, when a bitter situation is there. So at that time, whatever words you people will be using, you people are going to form a queue of synonyms for this word that is ironic, right? So yes, of course, Himanshu ji, we are telling ironic smile. So of course, many times it happens that people give a smile or a smile for ironic smile when something is wrong. Instead of telling us that something is wrong, they used to give a very uh, like cunning smile to us, ironic smile to us, where they laugh on the wrong things. Instead of uh, telling the mistake to the one who is doing that, right? So let's talk about the autonyms. Autonyms may words to queue up hue hai, uh, these words are credible, believable, sensible, usual, wise and serious. So jahan pe cheeze bahut wise way se present up hoti hain, sensible hoti hain, jiske upar hum log sabhi believe kar sakte hain, credible hoti hain. To wahan pe wo jo opposite jayenge, uh, like jaise humne baat kara se synonyms mein aur meaning mein, ye khud mein hi ek opposite hai ki kisi cheez ko hum log opposite ke baat karte hain. To autonyms iske ek positive direction mein jayenge. So let's check out the example. It is uh, the writer often used irony to make his readers laugh. 
तो ऑफकोर्स एक आयरनी जैसा सिचुएशन वहां पर रहता है बिकॉज ही कीप ऑन एडिंग अप द वर्ड्स एक राइम बनाने के लिए समटाइम दी यूज टू एड अप द वर्ड्स और समटाइम्स वो कुछ उल्टी बात करते हैं कुछ ऑपोजिट बात करते हैं ताकि उसके रीडर्स को इंटरेस्ट क्रिएट हो सके ताकि उसके रीडर्स को उन उस कंटेंट में कुछ मजेदार कंटेंट मिल सके ताकि उनका इन, वो बुक को पूरा गो थ्रू करे एंड इंटरेस्ट क्रिएट होता रहे राइट ओके सो लेट्स चेक आउट द एग्जांपल्स ऑफ यू गाइस ओके इट्स आयरनी दैट दे आर लुकिंग अबाउट पीसफुल डिस्कशन एंड डिबेटेबल वाइल ऑन द अदर हैंड दे आर Spraying causes of war and hatred. That's perfect, dear Malik ji. बहुत अच्छा सेंटेंस लिखा है आपने Of course, in situations में irony जैसा condition of course रहता है So let's check out um, uh, next word with the next slide. Okay, the next word and the next slide which is there on the screen it is in an earlier era it would have been a show of solid solidarity of national event. commanding the allegiance of its disparate citizens so the word that we have chosen from here is solidarity so you people are required to give me the meaning synonym and autonym of this word that is solidarity right every person try to put out others mistake and ironic thinking but don't think about their own behavior that's perfect Randy Orton give an ironic statement in front of John Cena okay that's perfect all comics are very ironic in nature are really ironic in nature perfect sentence given by Tej Preet Singh so let's uh, check out the meaning of this word solidarity Malik ji bata rahe hain it's about cooperation that's perfect Malik so this word is basically a noun in nature and its meaning is unity that occurs among the people uh, with with a shared purpose to so, jahan pe wo ek uh, common purpose ke sath hai uh, unka presence wahan pe exist karta hai and uh, jahan pe wo log uh, unity mein rehte hain jahan pe wo log uh, consistently ek purpose ke liye ek uh, target ke liye when the work out jahan pe hum log team ki baat kare ya kisi company ke employees ki baat kare to wahan pe un situations mein hum log perfectly is word ka use up kar sakte hain that is solidarity strongness is also perfect one so let's check out its meaning in, in hindi as well it is about uh, ek ek jutta to matlab ki ek टुगेदरनेस में आके टुगेदरनेस में आके जब हम लोग काम करते हैं टीम वर्क का स्पिरिट लेके जब हम लोग काम करते हैं इट इज दैट मीनिंग सो लेट्स चेक आउट द सिनोनिम्स व्हिच आर देयर इट्स अबाउट हार्मनी स्पोर्ट टीम वर्क यूनियन यूनिफॉर्मिटी अलायंस एंड अकॉर्ड तो जहां पे अगेन चीजों के ऊपर स्पोर्ट रहता है एक दूसरे का टुगेदरनेस रहता है वी आर वर्किंग फॉर वन टारगेट इन द यूनियन वी आर वर्किंग तो वहां पर वो सारे वर्ड सिनोनिम्स का ग्रुप फॉर्म अप करते हैं फॉर दिस वर्ड सॉलिडेटरी लेट्स चेक अप द अटोनिम्स अटोनिम्स की बात करें तो इट इज अबाउट डिस अग्रीमेंट डिस्कॉर्ड सेपरेशन एंड एंटेगनोटॉकनिज्म सो वहां पर जहां पर हम लोग डिसग्रीमेंट में जाते हैं हम लोग टूगेदरनेस में नहीं रहते हैं टीम वर्क में नहीं काम करते हैं इंडिविजुअलिटी को हम लोग जब प्रेफरेंस देते हैं एट दैट टाइम वी यूज टू फॉर्म अ ग्रुप ऑफ अटोनिम्स फॉर दिस वर्ड सॉलिडेटरी अब तार जी बता रहे हैं इट्स मीनिंग इज एकता दैट्स परफेक्ट डियर सो लेट्स चेक आउट द एग्जाम्पल विच इज देयर ऑन द स्क्रीन इट इज ऑल द मार्चर्स वॉर मैचिंग टी शर्ट टू डिस्प्ले सॉलिडेटरी ऑफ देयर कॉज तो जहां पे जो भी मार्चर्स थे जिनको मार्च पास्ट परफॉर्म करता था दे हैव वोन टी शर्ट ऑफ सिमिलर कलर एज यू पीपल कैन नो डाउन दैट वी ऑल्सो गॉट सिमिलर टी शर्ट ऑफ मेक माई एग्जाम टीम मेंबर्स स्टूडियो टीम मेंबर्स सो वी आर ऑल्सो वेयरिंग लाइक सिमिलर टी शर्ट इन ऑर्डर टू रिप्रेजेंट द यूनिटी यूनियन टू यू घायस एंड इन द सेम वे द एग्जाम्पल इज स्टेटिंग अप दैट फॉर द सिमिलर कॉज दे हैव वन ऑफ द सेम t-shirts right okay ibd association solidarity to provide effective and quality education to every and each student to each and every student that's perfect dear thank you so much uh, let's check out the next word java ji hame bata rahe hain it is very meaningful to see people of all the ages saying i'm absolutely uh, showing solidarity with those people who have suffered perfect dear india make solidarity relations with uh, countries that's perfect dear 
So let's check out uh, the next news line with the, uh, I hope this, uh, no, there's not going to be a next news line. Can we have the next word, please? Yes, the next word is allegiance. So you people are required to give me the meaning, synonym and autonym for this word allegiance. Deep Ji, we are telling that this is about unity. Unity that was perfect. It was the meaning of the word solitary. Okay, so let's check out the meaning. Uh, meaning of this word allegiance with the next slide okay this word allegiance is basically a noun in nature and its meaning is uh, loyalty to some cause nation or ruler so where we have a loyalty where we are not disloyal with any organization किसी रूरल के साथ या फिर किसी कॉज की बात करें तो जहां पे हम लोग कई बार होते हैं कि पब्लिक के साथ हम लोग खड़े होते हैं किसी भी ओपिनियन के ऊपर अपने जब हम लोगों ने कॉन्ट्राडिक्ट करना होता है उसको उसको ऑपोजिशन में जब हम लोग जाते हैं देन वी यूज्ड टू स्टे इन अलायंस विद देम देन हम लोग अपना स्टेप बैक नहीं करते हैं किसी रूरल की बात रूरल की बात करें चाहे किसी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की बात हो स्टाफ एम्प्लॉइज की बात हो तो वहां पे परफेक्टली इस वर्ड का यूसेज हम लोग कर सकते हैं दैट इज एलिजेंस लॉयल्टी दैट्स परफेक्ट ओके यू पीपल आर निष्ठा दैट्स परफेक्ट डियर Deep Ji bata rahi hai, it is about loyalty, that's great dear. So let's check out the synonyms. Synonyms ki category mein follow up karega, it is about obedience, faithfulness, home age, dedication. To jahan pe ek dedication rehta hai, obedience rehta hai, hum log uh, uh, pure full heartedly, uh, whole heartedly when we used to put the efforts for that jab dedication rehta hai kisi cheez ke upar chahe wo staff ki baat ho group ki baat ho then uh, jahan pe loyalty is the uh, is always there on the peak to wahan pe ye jo sare words group up ho rahe hain these are going to form a group of synonyms for this word allegiance commitment that is also perfect suraj so let's check out the autonyms autonyms ki baat kare to jahan pe dishonesty rehta hai dishonor apathy amenity disloyalty faithful uh, faith लेसनेस एंड सिडिक्शन रहता है जहां पे तो ऑफ कोर्स वहां पे नेगेटिव सेंस में थोड़े इसके टोनिम्स हैं तो जहां पे लॉयल हम लोग नहीं होते हैं चाहे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की बात हो गेन रूरल की नेशन की बात हो जहां पे गर्दार होना भी हम लोग कई बार यूज करते हैं बागी होना भी हम लोग कई बार यूज करते हैं तो वहां पे परफेक्टली ये टोनिम्स फॉर्म अप करेंगे फॉर द वर्ड दैट इज एलिजेंस ओके मलिक जी हमें बता रहे हैं वी आर सपोज टू बी एलिजेंस फॉर एवरीथिंग दैट वी डू इन आर लाइफ सो मलिक जी दिस इज द मलिक दिस इज द परफेक्ट सेंटेंस बिकॉज ऑफ कोर्स हमारे लिए बहुत जरूरी होता है कि हम लोग दूसरों के साथ लॉयल ना हो ना हो हार्डली मैटर लेकिन खुद के साथ लॉयल होना इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट वट बिकॉज वट एवर टारगेट्स यू पीपल आर प्लानिंग यू शुड बी वेरी लॉयल टू योर सेल्फ कि अगर आप लोगों ने कुछ भी टारगेट प्लान करा है सो इट इज योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ओनली टू अचीव दैट टारगेट राइट सो यू पीपल आर रिक्वायर्ड to be or to be allied with yourself only first other uh, on the later stage we can be into the uh, allegiance with the others right okay so jyoti ji ne hame sentence diya hai if every citizen allegiance about his duties uh, about own country in future india will become a developed country that's perfect dear so let's check out the example uh jo aap logo ke liye screen pe hai it is we took on we took an oath of allegiance upon entering the military and none of us plan on violating it so of course jab hum log kisi uh, profession mein jaate hain military ki baat ho uh, medical streams ki baat ho to wahan pe oath taking ceremony rehta hai jahan pe oath liya jata hai that they are going to be very much loyal to their organization to their country to their nation so जिसकी वायलेशन की बात या वायलेशन कभी भी एग्जिस्ट नहीं करता है तो वहां पे हम लोग इस वर्ड को परफेक्टली यूज कर सकते हैं दैट इज एलिजेंस एन ओल्ड एम्प्लॉय रिवॉर्डेड फॉर हिज एलिजेंस दैट्स परफेक्ट सो लेट्स मूव आउट टू द नेक्स्ट वर्ड विद द नेक्स्ट न्यूज लाइन ओके द नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज द मोटरसाइकिल कैवल खेट moves to uh, moves to abdul hamid avenue the youths are armed with the flags and swords right 
So the word that uh, we have uh, chosen from this news line is cavalcade. So you people are required to give me the meaning, synonym and autonym for this word cavalcade in the comment section. Because this word is very common and uh, it's uh, uh, we can see this thing, the meaning of this thing, we can see it everywhere. Sabine apni life mein dekha hoga. So let's check out the meaning of this word that is cavalcade. Can we have the next slide, please? Can we have the next slide? Okay. So the meaning of the, uh, the word, this word cavalcade is basically a noun and its meaning is a possession of persons riding on the horses in horse-drawn carriages or in cars, etc. So, जहाँ पे हम लोग उन चीजों के लाइक हम लोग बात करते हैं कार्ट का जहाँ पे horses use use up होते हैं for dragging the people. तो वहाँ पे हम लोग use up करते हैं cavalcade word को. आप लोग इसका हिंदी में meaning check out कर सकते हैं. That is group सवार दल जहाँ पे group होता है जो जिनका main purpose होता है horse riding करके वो sometimes they used to perform some actions by doing the horse riding and sometimes they used to sit on the carts which are used as the carriages uh, for uh, which are used as carriages and the weddings we can also we can easily see these cavalcades so this is the thing right okay so let's take out uh, let's check out the synonyms which are there on the screen it is about array possession review uh, spectral, it is about march pass, drill, review. So these are the things where we see the horses, ka dekhte hai, combination. Dekhte hai. And where uh, there is an association with the horses, ke saath, specifically with the horses, when they are in uh, a carriage, ki tarah, jab hum log unko use up, then we use perfectly this word. Ka usage karte hai. That, usage karte hai, usko se, that is... Uh, with the uh, goat savar hona ya uska ek group up form karke uska carriage conduct ho, uh, carriage carry up hota hai so there we can perfectly use this word iske autonyms ko jab hum log take up karenge to wahan pe rahega common regular jahan pe common cheeze exist karti hain regular ki baat ho negligence ki baat ho ki kuch special unko uh, treat, treat uh, special treatment unko nahi milta hai kuch because otherwise agar hum log normally walk kar rahe hain road pe to jahan pe hame koi horse carriage dikhta hai to of course we are required to give them a side so वहाँ पे वो जो सारे words group up form करेंगे for the autonomous of word this cal cavalcade <coughs> okay Mohit ji मैं आपको बताना चाहूँगी Nishtha in the senses कि when you people are uh, uh, like you people represent some loyalties to an organization or rural or nation जहाँ पे हम लोगों के लिए उसके साथ association dedication रहता है faithfulness रहता है so the uh, so at that time we use this word allegiance में हम लोग इसको associate करते हैं right so let's check out the example which is there for you people on the screen it is citizens lined the streets to see the prince cavalcade on his wedding day to jahan pe ek prince ki baat hoti hai to wahan pe jab wo cavalcade ke upar cross up karte hain streets pe se wahan pe there is a huge queue of citizens in order to see the prince cavalcade right which is which must be decorated in a beautiful way okay indian independence day always reward the cavalcade okay yet surprising uh, surprisingly the women who originated this annual cavalcade now dismisses the spectacle she, she seemingly created that's perfect a regiment of regular infantry makes uh, makes but a sore substitute for uh, for the splendid cavalcade for the former times that's perfect here so let's check out uh, the next news line with the next slide okay so the uh, in the next news line we have taken two words for you people let's check out the news line first it is one almost senses a whiff and uh, a whiff of machismo and nationalism weaving together so we have taken two words from this news line one is whiff and other is uh, mac, mac machismo so i want you people to please quickly give me the uh, meaning of first word that is whiff 
and the pronunciation is also there for you people on the screen it is riff so try to pronounce this word twice or thrice so that the pronunciation uh, may also get clear in your mind right uh pravin ji hame pravin kumar ji hame bata rahe hain it is about groom is going with cavalcade that's perfect lekin uh pravin there is a problem in the word groom it is with double o g r double o m in uh, mata vaishnu devi lots of cavalcades help to reach the passengers to the temple that's perfect jyoti ji so let's check out the meaning of this word whiff with the next slide okay this word whiff is basically a noun in nature and its meaning is smell or aroma to jahan pe hame bahut acha फ्रेग्रेंस आता है स्मेल की बात होती है रोमा की बात होती है एक सेंस का डेवलपमेंट होता है जहां पे एहसास की बात होती है तो वहां पे हम लोग परफेक्टली इस वर्ड को यूज अप कर सकते हैं दैट इज वेफ लेट्स टॉक आउट चेक आउट द सिनोनिम्स व्हिच आर देयर इट्स अबाउट ऑर्डर सेंट फ्यूम गस्ट एंड इनहेलेशन राइट तो जहां पे हम लोग फ्रेग्रेंसेस uh, की रोमा की बात करते हैं तो वहां पे इस वर्ड को परफेक्टली हम लोग यूज कर सकते हैं इसेंस की बात होती है तो वहां पे परफेक्टली इस वर्ड को हम लोग यूज अप कर सकते हैं लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द अटोनेंस देन इट इज अबाउट अ सिचुएशन व्हेन द स्टिंकी स्मेल इज कमिंग टू आर आर नोज एंड स्ट्रेंचिंग साउंड स्ट्रेंचिंग फ्रेग्रेंस स्ट्रेंचिंग स्मेल इज अगेन कमिंग सो वहां पे हम लोग इसके ऑपोजिशन में ये वाले वर्ड्स को एसोसिएट कर सकते हैं okay so let's check out the example uh, in the example you can check out only one whiff in the kitchen let me know that my mother is uh, that my mother was preparing her famous meat loaf so jahan pe ek unko whiff aata hai kitchen se ek bahut acha aroma ki aroma aata hai kitchen se that uh, something uh, very delicious is uh, being prepared in the kitchen then uh, he can easily recognize that uh, his mother must be preparing something uh, uh, his fa her famous meat loaf to wahan kya jo uh, meat loaf hai uska fragrance jo hai uska aroma jo hai to of course it is a it is a special one to wahan pe delicious ka unko judge out ho jata hai that some whiff is coming out secret releases are a lot of um, carcinogenic whiff that's perfect emotions help to whiff to determine the situation perfect dear Okay, so let's check out uh, the next word. Next word is machismo. So you people are required to give me the meaning, synonym, and autonym of this word that is machismo. Uh, please go through the pronunciation as well. Pronunciation is there on your screens. So try to pronounce this word twice or thrice so that you people can uh, use this word in your regular life because. uh not only learning the vocabulary is important what is more important than learning the vocabulary is using the vocabulary in your daily life that is more important so i keep on telling you people ki hame tab tak english acche se nahi aayega jab tak hum log uska usage nahi start karenge so i focusedly keep on telling you people ki uska usage karna start kijiye jitna zyada aap log यूसेज करेंगे उसको डेली लाइफ के डेली बेसिस के ऊपर उसको उन वर्ड्स को उस सिचुएशंस में जैसे भी आप लोग सिचुएशन कोई भी देखते हो तो वहाँ पे चीज़ों को कोरिलेट करो लिंक अप करो वहाँ पे एक रिलेशन क्रिएट करो अगर आप लोग यहाँ पे भी ग्रुप में पढ़ाई कर रहे हो तो अगर आपका ऑफलाइन ग्रुप भी है तो वहाँ पर भी जो वर्ड्स आप सेम वर्ड्स आप लोग पढ़ रहे हो तो ट्राई करो कि उन वर्ड्स का एसोसिएशन डेली लाइफ में आप लोग लेकर आ पाओ राइट right? because this is the only way practicing the word, these words in your daily life are going to form, are going to help you a lot right okay uh, the whiff of the rose is very sweet that's perfect there are there was a definite whiff of something at a uh, old ground yesterday okay that's perfect so let's check out the meaning of this word that is uh, machismo with the next line Okay, this word machismo is basically a noun in nature, and its meaning is exaggerated masculine pride. So, जहाँ पे कुछ भी चीज होती है, कुछ profession की बात करे, या फिर हम लोग gender की बात करे, जहाँ पे male dominance ज़्यादा रहता है, जहाँ पे हिंदी में इसका meaning देखे तो 
मर्दानगी वाला सिचुएशन जहाँ पे ज्यादा रहता है मेस्कुलिन जेंडर के ऊपर ज्यादा डोमिनेटिंग चीजें रहती हैं तो वहां पे हम लोग इस वर्ड को परफेक्टली यूज कर सकते हैं दैट इज मैचिज्म बात करते हैं स्पेसिफिकली मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग का या फिर मैकेनिक्स का ऑटोमोबाइल्स uh, की बात करते हैं जब हम लोग जब हम लोग वर्कशॉप्स पे विजिट करते हैं इवन तो वहां पे जो ये प्रोफेशन है मैकेनिक्स यहाँ पे होते हैं तो वहां पे मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स जो है मेल्स का डोमिनेंस ज्यादा रहता है मेल कैंडिडेट्स ज्यादा रहते हैं आर्मी की बात हो तो आर्मी में भी बहुत अच्छा खासा काउंट है मेल मेल आर्मी आर्मी मैन का तो वहां पे भी हम लोग इस परफेक्ट इस वर्ड को परफेक्टली यूज कर सकते हैं दैट इज मैचिज्मो सो लेट्स चेक आउट द सिनोनिम्स इट इज अबाउट अ थिंग व्हिच इज मैनिश इन नेचर मैस्कुलर देन वी हैव मैनलीनेस देन वी हैव मैस्कुलिन एंड वी हैव मैच हो तो जहां पे हम लोग मेल्स के रिलेशन में किसी चीज के ऊपर डोमिनेंस देते हैं ओवर डोमिनेंस देते हैं तो वहां पे वो सारे वर्ड्स नॉनिम्स कहलाएंगे फॉर द फॉर दिस वर्ड दैट इज मैचिज मो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द अटोनिम्स लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द अटोनिम्स इट इज अबाउट अ फ्रेड कोवर्डली वीक शाई टिमिड तो जहां पे चीजें uh, एक अफ्रेडिंग uh, सिचुएशन में रहती हैं कॉवर्डली हम लोग उसको uh, इतना बोल्डनेस के साथ हम लोग उसको नहीं फेस अप कर पाते हैं वीक होती हैं शाय नेचर के होते हैं कुछ सिचुएशन कुछ चीजें तो वहां पे हम लोग इसके अथॉनिम्स को एसोसिएट करेंगे लेट्स चेक आउट द एग्जाम्पल इट इज हिज मैचिज्मो मेड हिम अ स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड बोल्ड स्ट्रीट फाइटर तो जहाँ पे उसका बहुत ज्यादा बोल्डनेस uh, था उसमें उसमें बिल्कुल भी शाइनेस नहीं था मेस्कुलिन पावर uh, और मेस्कुलिन डोमिनेस उसमें बहुत ज्यादा था तो वहां पे उस uh, उन चीजों ने उस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ने उसके ट्रेट्स ने उसे एक बोल्ड स्ट्रीट फाइटर बनाया है सो देर हियर दे हैव परफेक्टली यूज दिस वर्ड दैट इज मैचिज्मो राइट male is a machismo over female by nature okay there is a lot of uh, machismo in office okay soldiers show their machismo by killing terrorist piyush that's perfect one you are making a good sentence because this is the scenario which is happening in our society mohit i'll get back to uh, your your trouble after this show our rnd team is there so they're going to get back to you so let's check out uh, the next word with the next news line okay so let's uh, take up this word it is uh, the akhilesh yadav government in a populist move uh, move used the aklak episode to give uh, give out dolls rupees 30 lakh in compensation of akhak family uh 5 lakhs to each of the brothers and a flat to the family for some discretionary fund so you people are required to give me the meaning of this word discretionary right okay uh bahut acche sentences aap aap logo ke aa rahe hain in relation to the word machismo it is uh, bhagat singh showed machismo against british rule that's perfect everyone says girls and boys are equal but sometimes we uh we prefer machismoness in different career field like btech and other jobs that's perfect jyoti ji bahut acha sentence banaya hai aapne try to make the lengthy sentences because ye bahut acha for i again i don't uh, remember exactly uh, that i think this is your first lengthy sentence to jitna lengthy aap log sentence banate ho mistakes utni bahar aati hain right Sikandar, um, a cheese or more help him to win over world. That's perfect. So, uh, the, the pronunciation of this word is also important. You people can go through the pronunciation, which is there on the screens. It is discretionary, right? So, let's check out the meaning of this word, discretionary. Can we have the next slide? Okay. This word discretionary is uh, basically adjective in nature, and its meaning is considered to a chosen, uh, considered to be chosen or volunteer. So, जहाँ पे हम लोग कई बार कुछ elections की बात करें तो चीजों को हम लोग choose करते हैं या फिर voluntary basis पे जब वो exist करती है तो वहाँ पे perfectly हम लोग इन चीजों को use up कर सकते हैं. That is discretionary. 
जहाँ पे इसके सिनोनिम्स को चेकआउट करते हैं इट इज अबाउट अनरिस्ट्रिक्टेड जहाँ पे कोई रिस्ट्रिक्शन नहीं होता है आप लोग खुद चूज कर सकते हैं या वॉलेंटरली आप लोग उसमें पार्टिसिपेट करते हैं जहाँ पे चीजें नॉन ऑब्लिगेटरी होती हैं ऑप्शनल होती हैं लेफ्ट ओवर्स की हो सकती हैं इलेक्टिव हो सकती हैं तो वहाँ पे वो सारे वर्ड्स जो एसोसिएट होंगे वो ऑटोनिम्स का ग्रुप सॉरी सिनोनिम्स का ग्रुप फॉर्म करेंगे फॉर दिस वर्ड दैट इज डिस्क्रिप्शनरी लेट्स चेक आउट द अटोनिम्स विच आर देयर अटोनिम्स की बात करें तो इट इज अबाउट स्ट्रिक्ट रिक्वायर्ड इनकम्प्लीट एंड लिमिटेड तो जहाँ पे चीजें लिमिटेड फॉर्म में रहती हैं जहाँ पे रिस्ट्रिक्टेड uh, होती uh, जहाँ पे स्ट्रिक्ट होती हैं कि वहाँ पे कोई चेंज नहीं आ सकता है या फिर वहाँ से कुछ भी uh, हम लोग चूज नहीं कर सकते हैं वो लेंचर बेसिस पे नहीं हो सकता है जैसी वो हैं एज इट इज उनको टेकअप करना पड़ता है तो वहाँ पे हम लोग अटोनिम्स का ग्रुप फॉर्म अप करेंगे फॉर दिस वर्ड डिस्क्रिप्शनरी ओके लेट्स चेक आउट द सेंटेंसेस व्हिच आर देयर ऑन माय स्क्रीन माय कमेंट सेक्शन फ्रॉम योर पीयर मेट्स ही शो देयर मेचीजमो इन जिम इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी ओके दैट्स परफेक्ट पीयूष जी बता रही हैं एस एस एग्जाम्स आर डिस्क्रिप्शनरी दैट्स परफेक्ट हियर so let's check out the example which is there on the screen it is only one dis discretionary expense on the business trip trip business man's trip expenditures caught the eye of his boss which he refused to pay for to jahan pe kuch discretionary re ek expense tha jo hide hua tha बिजनेस मैन के ट्रिप से जहाँ पे उसके बहुत सारे और भी एक्सपेंडिचर्स थे देन वहाँ पे उसने उस उस चीज के लिए रिफ्यूज करा है पे करने के लिए राइट right? तो जहाँ पे वो चोजन नहीं चोजन की बात हो रही थी कुछ वो लेंटेरली चीजें एग्जिस्ट करती हैं ऑप्शनल ऑप्शन में होता है तो वहाँ पे फॉर दैट एक्सपेंस ही रिफ्यूज टू पे राइट Okay, labor uh, division made human being discretionary to each other. That's perfect. After tenth class, every student discretionary to different uh, two streams according to their abilities. That's perfect. The power of president are discretionary in nature. Again, perfect. So let's move to the next word with the next news line. Okay. Uh, the next news line is a fracas ensues, and in the resulting violence, a young Hindu man, Chandan Gupta, is shot. Right. So the word uh, which is there, which seems to be difficult, is uh, fracas. So you people are required to give me the meaning, a tonym, synonym of this word that is fracas. Right. so keep on going through the pronunciation try to speak out this word twice or thrice that is fracas okay so let's check out the meaning of this word synonym of this word with the next slide okay this word fracas is basically a noun in nature and its meaning is a noisy disagreement or commotion to jahan pe bahut zyada noisy environment rehta hai jahan pe hum logo ke liye kisi specific cheez ke upar concentrate kar pana possible nahi ho pata hai to wahan pe hum log perfectly is word ko use kar sakte hain that is fracas usually hum log baat kare kuch events ki occasion ki weddings ki ceremonies ki to wahan pe fracas bahut easily mil jata hai हम लोगों को देखने के लिए सो लेट्स चेक आउट द सिनोनिम्स की ऑफ सिनोनिम्स व्हिच इज देयर इट इज अबाउट ब्रिकरिंग इट इज हैजल स्कफल क्रूअल रोइड अपरोर तो जहां पे चीजें बहुत ज्यादा नॉइजी रहती हैं जहां पे सेटल अप करना चीजों को मुश्किल हो जाता है तो फ्रॉम ओवर देयर वी यूज्ड टू लाइक associate these words with the noisy conditions noisy environments and perfectly we uh, these uh, we can use these words as a substitute of the word fracas so let's talk about the autonym autonyms uh, it is about agreement harmony happiness calm peace to jahan pe cheeze bahut smooth going rehti hain peace rehti hain jahan pe kuch hassle nahi hota hai cheezon mein नॉइजी नहीं रहता है ब्रिकर नहीं होती हैं चीजें तो वहां पे परफेक्टली हम लोग इन अटोनिम्स को एसोसिएट कर सकते हैं फॉर द वर्ड दैट इज प्रैक्टिस 
Mohammed ji of course uh, we got your message regarding the idioms and phrases so within uh, within a very short time we'll be getting back to you with a video lecture on this topic i want you people to keep on subscribing this show and you people can come up with n number of queries jo bhi aapki problem hai jo bhi aap log uh, daily basis pe english सब्जेक्ट के रिलेशन में जो भी आप लोग प्रॉब्लम्स फेस अप कर रहे हैं ऑफलाइन मैसेजेस में ऑनलाइन मैसेजेस में यू पीपल कैन कोट एन नंबर ऑफ क्वेरीज टू अस जैसे जैसे आप लोगों की क्वेरीज आती रहेंगी वी डू हैव अ वेरी सॉलिड आर एनजी टीम विद अस सो वो अकॉर्डिंगली वर्कआउट करती रहेंगी एंड अकॉर्डिंगली विल बी गेटिंग बैक टू यू विद द सोल्यूशन ऑफ योर क्वेरीज राइट we just need one thing from you people is keep on liking sharing the videos because uh, from there only we used to get uh, boost up that we are required to tackle up any of your query and uh, uh, and accordingly we are going to schedule the uh, the topics which you people put forward which you people demand that uh, these topics are required to be learned by you people so accordingly uh, we can schedule the topics whichever is your doubt right okay in Indian history there are large number of <coughs> i think uh, piyush kindly rectify your sentence fricus class make study environment become unhealthy that's perfect fricus in indian history there are large number of fricus that took place okay that's perfect dear so let's talk uh, check out the example which is there on the screen as soon as the cat saw the dog a fracas ensued between the two animals to jahan pe wo dono ek dusre ko dekhte hain cat and dog jab aapne samne aate hain jab ek dusre ko dekhte hain tab unme bahut zyada noisy sa environment create ho jata hai this like dog start barking on the cat so wahan pe ek noisy and bahut messy situation jab create ho jata hai then perfectly we can use this word that is fracas okay so from my side this was the last word of today's show so i hope you people are learning well to aise hi aap log apne aap jaisa bhi aap log topic ko chahte hain ki hum log cover up kare so usko un points ko un topics ko please comment section mein offline online in any way you people are comfortable keep on putting the queries so accordingly we are going to get back to you people right okay country having fracas can not develop in forest birds uh show immense fracas when someone try to catch them that's perfect mohammed uh, this is the good one sentence so with this word let's wind up the okay uh, so let's wind up the show today's show so uh, i hope you people are learning well keep on making the user uses usage of this word in your daily life because by making the usage only then only you will be learning it in a perfect way because the more mistakes are going to bring you to, uh, to uh, bring you more closer to uh, in order to become a perfectionist in that so i hope uh, everything is going well in your life so take care bye bye and good night